everybody, I'm Joe Kelly Jr. for Diecast X. Every car guy's got a dream ride, a favorite muscle car, a classic, or an exotic supercar that they'd love to drive just once in their lives. Now, one car most drivers would agree on is the Ferrari 250 GT SWB Spider California, a dream machine that had a short production run but had beauty and performance that placed it firmly atop most bucket lists. It also gave the car enduring classic status almost immediately after it debuted. The CMC is causing a lot of insomnia these days with a stellar 118th model of that car. When we get back, we'll be exploring this latest offering from one of the hobby's greatest high-end suppliers. Don't go anywhere. Now you can bring your favorite magazine with you wherever you go. With Diecast X Digital Edition, collectors can read the pages, browse reviews, and interact with the model collecting hobby in ways that they've never imagined. Diecast X Digital Edition brings the industry's largest circulation diecast enthusiast magazine to your home computer, iPhone, iPad, network-enabled tablet, or mobile device anytime, anywhere. Zoom in on text and photos, watch video reviews of your favorite models, enjoy interviews with personalities and industry insiders, and see the hobby come alive. Go to dcxmag.com for more info. Diecast X Digital Edition, your favorite magazine, anytime, anywhere. The joint brainchild of Ferrari's U.S. distributor and a Southern California Ferrari dealer, the short wheelbase SWB Spider had the raw power of the 250 GT race car, a decidedly American name, and a body that caused ladies to swoon, boys to dream, and grown men to consider leaving years of marital bliss behind for just one ride. Now, you can't blame any of those folks, and you can't fault collectors for wanting this latest CMC as a token of that fever. Now, of course, CMC's incredibly detailed 250 GT SWB Berlinetta provided the bones and much of the meat for this release, just like the real Berlinetta gave the Spider its chassis and drivetrain. Painted in red with a tan, fine grain leather interior, this open air icon is proportioned beautifully and perched at a perfect height on hand laced steel spoke wheels. Now, here's a kick. The tires are modern Michelins, right down to the radial X, made in France and tubeless words cast into their sidewalls. Now, this isn't OEM correct, but it makes a heck of a lot of sense for a modern driver. And it shows that CMC tooled this replica from a machine that currently gets driven on the road. Now, the photo wedged grille wears a pair of driving lights and it's flanked by marker and directional lamps. The depth and clarity of these little jewels and the high mounted tail lights is wonderful. But running back from the covered headlamps, replete to their fasteners for their metal trims, the shut lines are sharp and even. That's remarkable considering this sample's pre production origins. So are details like the Ferrari badge at the tail and the screen shaped steel cooling vents at the car's sides. CMC's love of real materials is on a high here. In addition to the salami cut metal exhaust tips and the steel rockers, the wee pads attached to the stamped metal bumper blades are fitted from ebonite, ultra vulcanized rubber, just like on the real California. As beautiful as these details are, it's the areas under the model's skin that really seal the deal. Of course, the interior is top dead center with a faux wood steering wheel sporting steel spokes and a hand rubbed shine. The doors swing smoothly and the jams are decorated with steel silt plates and piped weather stripping. In between, the leather seats are done in a tight grain hide with carefully lapped seams and applied piping. The dash and binnacle are bedazzled with switchgear and gauges. More leather, dyed black, tops the dash and door tops. Beneath the latter, map pockets have been hand sewn into place. Behind it, complete to its gasket's windshield and rubber bladed folded metal wiper arms, this may be CMC's finest, most believable cockpit yet. Out back, the car's got a working trunk release. It's a little fiddly, but pressing the push button catch whilst raising the lid is fun. Once it's open, the boot's carpeted floor boasts a steel rub strip, a fuel filler sporting steel clamps, and a full spare held in check by a real leather belt with what looks to be a working buckle. There's virtually nothing missing under the model's hood. The oval air cleaner is fastened by a trio of three bladed wing nuts. 
below it a multi-piece throttle rod assembly and spiral steel covered fuel lines wind into view and terminate in tiny banjo fittings and metal ends. The crinkle finish on the cam covers is scale correct, as is the gauge of every plug wire, electrical cable, hose, and clamp. On the passenger side, a steel duct funnels fresh air to the cabin, and on the driver's side, the brake booster is tucked under the fender below a gaggle of steel clamped cables. The oil filter is legibly labeled, as is the firing order plate affixed atop the engine near the fan belt and radiator hoses. From the tidy little prop rod that holds the hood aloft to the little rubber bumpers around the engine bay's perimeter, the 280 horse V12 looks real. Now, the model's biggest surprise and its most impressive visual, save for its powerful presence on display, is the vista of mechanical replication on the car's undercarriage. Built off of a tube frame, the working suspension, copper brake and fuel lines, steel springs and working steering linkages are stunning, as are the various textures, colors and materials used to finish each piece. After we removed and reinstalled the road wheels to view the brake discs, saw the hangers for the multi-muffler exhaust system, discovered the clear drain tubes that hang on either side of the V12, and observed how some of the componentry was riveted to the frame, we were looking for a mirror to park the model on. Now, common sense says that most of us will never get to pilot a Ferrari California, but thanks to CMC we can still dream. Available soon in other limited edition colors and trims, CMC's latest masterwork gets our very highest recommendation. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.